Hi, I'm Shibana Ryan and we have with us today Mr. Pawar who is the Deputy General Manager, Foundry Tata Motors Limited from Pune. Hello sir, how are you doing today? I'm fine and good afternoon ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the IFEX 2012 and welcome to the Pavilion of Forest Polymers. So how, would, um, how did you find the IFEX this year? Frankly speaking, this IF, IFF is really, I have been visiting IFF for so many years. Okay. And this is one of the best IFF I have seen in. Okay. And uh, especially this hall number one, where this forest and other uh, competitors of uh, resin manufacturers are there. And this forest is one of the best uh, stall I think is there. Thanks, thanks for your comments. And, uh, and how, uh, tell us a little bit about your organization in general. See, I am basically a metallurgical graduate, passed out in 1979, then I joined Tata Motors. Uh, Tata, you know Tata Motors is an automobile manufacturing company and they have their own uh, uh, foundries. And I joined foundry industry 18 years back. Okay. In 1993, I joined foundry as a layman. Okay. I was not knowing anything about foundry because I was working in other part of Tata Motors. Okay. And when I joined foundry, we started aluminium uh, die casting shop, right. gravity die casting shop in Tata Motors. Okay. Because it was a dream of our uh, late chairman, Mr. Mulgaukar, to have our own uh, die casting shop and aluminium foundry. Right. So I started. But at the same time, we have a cast iron foundry also. You know, in Tata's, they have the captive foundry. All right. uh, we have three foundries. One is at Tim Chinchwal, Pimpri Chinchwal, Pune. The second one is at Jamshedpur, and the third one is at Mawal, which okay. is 25 kilometers away from. Pune. All right. And we make all ferrous, non ferrous Asia and gay cast iron, CG iron, okay. as well as uh, other new uh, new generation engine cylinder blocks and cylinder heads. All right. How long has Forest Polymers been associated with you as a supplier? Uh, last 10 years. 10 years. 10 years, yes. Okay, good to know that. And what sort of products or components do you source from Forest Polymers? We are buying from them uh, phenolic resins. Okay. which are used for making our shell cores. Okay. All right. Our shell cores. Uh, right. Now, Mr. Pawar, any industry has its own set of challenges, isn't it? What are some of the major challenges um, in the foundry industry, according to you? The major challenge today in foundry industry is human resource. Okay. Because, you know, this young generation, mm -hmm. they are not willing to join foundries. Okay. And why they is that so? Because, uh, if, you know, foundry is a mother industry huh. and it is something like a kitchen of any industry. Right. And nobody wants to work in kitchen. Yeah. Huh? You get a heat, you get a dust, yes. huh? you get a sand, yes. smoke, yeah. all sorts of kitchen elements are present there in the foundry right. and people prefer uh, drawing room uh, yeah. industries yeah. where you have ACs. Yes. Good tables. Yeah, like the IT uh, industry. I, yeah, IT industries, yeah. yes, you okay. rightly said it. And this is the main problem. The second problem is, uh, see, you know, the any casting mm. which is made mm. has got main constituents, they are coming from the earth. Right. For example, sand. Right. It comes from the earth. The coal dust. Mm -hmm. It comes from the earth. Mm. Bentonite, it comes from the earth. Mm. All these hydrocarbons, resins, everything is a product of the organic products comes from the mm. earth crust only. Correct. From the sea, hydrocarbons and everything. So basically, it's a mystery. Yeah. Foundry is a mystery. Yeah. And, and because 2 plus 2 is never 4 there. Right. It can be either 4 plus minus something. Yeah. But sometimes it is 4, yeah. but not all the time. Hence the shortage of labor. It's shortage of labor. And then shortage of labor and the shortage of raw material. Yeah. Because in the earth curse, yeah. when you change the location yeah. for bentonite or for sand, yeah. You don't know mm. what is there because 70% of the uh, properties of a sand mm. we are not knowing. Right. 30% only we can, its gravity, its shape, yes. its refractoriness, its entering point, everything. These are the very little uh, mm. uh, things we know. But 70% right. of the main properties of the sand till today we are not able to find out. So that's why I said foundry is a mystery. Yes, yes. Very rightly said, I think. Now, uh, what kind of strategies has your organization come up with to tackle such challenges in this industry? Uh, what we are doing, we are not going to the colleges mm. where all cream, top cream, 
generally they are selected in Tata Motors initially, but later on they leave the company okay. because they get better, better opportunities. Huh. So what is our first strategy? We should go for a, a colleges where all this top uh, IT in uh, sort of people or cream. We cream are not going to depend on the cream. Yes. We will go one level below the. Uh, not the mediocre also. I understand. Uh, above I understand. average. Uh, Correct. Not the so because we have to uh, face the many challenges of foundry industries right. tomorrow. Right. Now, um, what are the future trends in the foundry industry? See, from cast iron to aluminium, this is one trend. Because most of the castings are now getting converted into aluminium. Okay. That is one trend. Second trend in cast iron, we are planning to go towards the CG iron. Okay. Where the the customer today wants a very thin wall, very compact, very small, with the high mechanical properties and fatigue life. We customers need it. So to meet the challenge, we have to develop our own technology in such a way that we should be able to satisfy our customer. So what in do terms you... of mechanical properties of the casting is concerned, yeah. in terms of fatigue life of the casting is concerned, in terms of the compact, uh, compact, uh, what you call it. Uh, Package, yes. package, packaging yes. of the whole engine is yes. very important nowadays. So you have to pack it in a such a small size and we have to meet all the environmental uh, uh, environmental uh, demands from the yeah. from the cars, what people expect from the trucks. Mm. So that is one challenge. Second challenge, what I feel, mm. the third challenge, what I feel is um, environment. Mm. Because in India, now governments are very strict mm. in putting uh, the norms, strict norms on environmental pollution, emissions. Right. So that is also one challenge we are going to face mm. and very soon. So when you are talking about these environmental challenges, what would you think about sand reclamation? Yes, it has got a very big, uh, very good future in India. Okay. Very, very soon we may have to think about that. For sustainability? Yes, sustainability because you know, sand bales in India are, one is in Mangalore belt, second is Allahabad belt and third is Gujarat belt. All right. As it is in Karnataka, uh, Mangalore belt uh, sand availability is in uh, doldrums, I would say, because many of the mines, mines are closed down, we are not getting sand, so we have to go to the, that is the best sand we have today, as far as uh, sintering point, refractoriness okay. and expansion characteristics are concerned. Mm. Then we, we are now planning to go to Allahabad, we have, we have already started using Allahabad sand long back. And then so Allah company should also, adopt green initiatives. Yes, green initiatives and second is reclamation. Okay. That is the future of it. What do you think about automation? Getting everything automation is automated? must. It is it is must in core making, in uh, uh, high pressure molding line, putting the whole assemblies into the mold. Yeah. That automation means robotic uh, involvement in foundry industry has to go up. Otherwise, because being a very tough job, labor. Uh, is Labor not intensive. very keen to join the this industry. Labor right. intensive. Yeah. Now India is the second largest castings manufacturer in the world, only next to China. How do you see the growth of this industry in India? I think, compared to China, India has got a better future. All right. Why better would you company. say that? Because you know the Indian uh, intellectual compared to China. First thing is language is not a problem. Right. So we can adaptability of Indian English. people is much better than the Chinese. All right. So we are very flexible, adaptive. Yeah. So, so we can is not a deterrent. It's not a deterrent. That is one part. And the, the psychic of the people, we are very flexible. All right. We accept uh, things easily. But as far as Chinese are concerned, they are very rigid and stringent. Not as flexible. Not as we are. So that is one uh, edge over the China. That okay. So that's the edge that you have. Okay. Well said. Now, um, before we let you go, sir, one last question. Five years from now, what sort of changes do you perceive in the Indian foundry industry? Five years from now. After five years, we'll have uh, many aluminium uh, castings compared okay. to cast iron. Okay. Uh, so aluminium has got a better future compared to cast iron. But cast iron also has is got a better... Is that more readily available also? No, it is uh, lighter. Okay. Because in passenger cars, in trucks you cannot prefer aluminium. But in passenger cars, aluminium is a good metal and light metal. All right. To improve the fuel efficiency and all these things. It is costly, but in long term, it is beneficial. Okay. And similarly for cast iron, it has a future. Asian is a replacement of steel forging. And cast iron, if you 
go towards the CG ion, compacted graphite ion, it has also got a future. Because the future cars, future engines are Euro 4, Euro 5, Euro 6, Euro 7, where you need a very good uh, block, cylinder blocks and heads which can take that pressure. So you have to go for a higher mechanical uh, uh, properties cast iron blocks. Okay? Well. Well, thank you so much, thank Mr. Pawar, for your time and thanks for enlightening us with all that information and all your positive and encouraging thoughts. Have a great day at the event. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.